just off the behind the first reef in Antigua. Oh, pretty spot, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's lovely and warm. It's 30 degrees. Very calm. We've got very light winds. Yeah. I'll show you outside. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Break our hearts, right? Everybody's ready to come down and experience this. We've got cold drinks ready. You've got to come down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, let's take a look at some of the things that you love about this particular boat and maybe hear a little bit about you guys. Sure. Let's, let's show you around if we can. Try not to lose you. Okay. So the boat is, uh, is brand new. It's just a couple of months old and it's really well appointed. Uh, it's got beautiful linen and cutlery. Yeah, made nice, nice display for you. Um, it's got some beautiful fittings. Here's the team. <laughs> okay. This is Chef Nikki. Oh, she's made a cake for you. <laughs> oh, now if I could just reach through that screen and try it, I would be in seventh heaven. It's that time of the afternoon. <laughs> and look, we've got some champagne ready for the guests. Oh. Well, now see, now I'm in the office. Could you do us a, a cappuccino? Yeah, we've got a lovely cappuccino machine, actually. So show the, the saloon. We've got some lovely fittings, lovely cream carpet. It's absolutely beautiful, actually. It's, it's a bit like a Bentley. It's like the Bentley of yachts. We've got some suede headlining. And let's take you down to show you the master suite. Every little detail is thought out. Okay, so this is the master suite. So from the oh. entrance here. So you've got a nice little desk, although you're not allowed to work. If you work, you have to drink a cocktail. A cocktail <laughs> for every every minute worked. <laughs> well, I don't think that would be a challenge for some people. But what a view from an the office, though. It's beautiful, isn't it? We're ready for guests here. Look, I mean, it's just beautiful. And then this is coming through into the master cabin. And you've got those few little steps. It's really nice. It's, a, it's kind of a complete suite here. And then there's a nice big TV, but not that you... You want to do it, you want to be swimming and snorkeling. Uh, and of course, it's, it's air conditioned. Um, it it's really is a beautiful yacht. We've got three different types of pillows and the pillows are infused. Uh, one of the pillows is infused with pine. And we've got beautiful linen. You mean like natural pine? Like natural like pine. Tree. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That yeah, sounds wonderful. Really. I wish we could do transmit smell by uh, video, but not quite yet. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got a seven foot bed, got some beautiful rugs. And then there's actually three basins in this suite. So you've got his and hers here. And then just in case you want another spare, there's another one in the head as well. We've got fresh water flushing toilets and bidets. Oh, wow. Very nice. Yeah, European so styling. Really nice. And nice big showers with a big soaker head. And then we've got beautiful embroidered towels. Lovely soft towels, actually. I know you ladies are really excited about it. There you go. Well, you, it, it looks as if every detail has been well thought out. Everything is absolutely first class. It's been really tastefully done. These are handmade rugs. Oh, really? Um, absolutely beautiful, yeah. I mean, uh, they're a bit of a nightmare for us to keep absolutely pristine, but it's, Ellie does a fantastic job and we've got lovely dressing, lovely fluffy dressing gowns. We've got our own onboard linen, um, so we've got dryers, so we fluff everything up really nice, so it's, and then. Yes, everything looks to be ironed. Is that one of the chores that you, you do? It is, iron that's, that's all Ellie's good work. She's an absolute star. So, and I'm gonna like to show you the, what's really good about this yacht is the beach club. So if I can take you out to the beach club, it's very different. There's not many yachts with this kind of setup. Oh, but whilst we go here, just show you the bar. Ah. So we like to do different cocktails. Um, so we've got we've got some um, edible flowers, and we've got all sorts of little bits of herbs and um, really beautiful fittings. So we've got a little allure. Oh wow! Now, yeah, it's really do you enjoy sort of challenging and coming up with something different for guests most days? Do you offer? I them do. Sort of a um, because we've got six guests, we can spend more time looking after them and we can do, uh, we've got some, um, we can do smoke infused cocktails. So we've got this little uh, wow. smoker that you can put some rosemary on and then pour the smoke over. It's really beautiful. And these rigs for cocktails oh, at the beach. So we've got cocktails at the beach club ready for you. Oh, you think of everything. Doesn't that look inviting? So what we got here? We've got an endless summer here. So it's a... Uh, 
It's a gin, chambord, and champagne concoction I've made up. That sounds very intriguing. I can see that as a nice afternoon break. It wouldn't it wouldn't de derail you from getting in the water and going for a snorkel, but uh, might relax you, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice and chill. So this is the beach club we were talking about. So we've got this high-low platform, but we've made it into a beach club. So we've got a lovely, relaxing area. Oh. That's a nice big shade here. There's some lights at night. And then we've got some shaded area here, which is just, and it just obviously just looks out over the water. Oh, look at that dinghy. That, is that your tender there? Yeah, it's perfect for running the kids around. We've got, I'll show you some water sports we've got as well. We've got a few bits and pieces of the water sports. And we've got the water toys. And then, yeah, we've got these. So at night, we turn on these. We've got some candles. These are actually electronic. We're safety first. Uh, but they're actually real, real wax. Uh -huh. uh, it just looks beautiful at night when you walk across the deck here and show you. How charming. So with these all lit up at night, it looks beautiful, yeah. And we've got showers on the port and shower on the starboard. And then this goes back round. And we've had all this enclosed, but we've allowed for the sun to come through it still, but it just diffuses the sun. Nice little lounges here. Again, the towels. The perfect spot for a book and a nap. <laughs> yeah. And the water toys out if you want to show. Yeah, so I walk you down there. The <laughs> I can get a bit windy now, but it's only because I'm walking forward. Uh, so we've got SUP. We've got water skis, we've got wakeboard, and we've got a sub wing, which is brilliant for towing little ones around behind the rib. Nice and slow, it's perfect. And we've got some nice lounges here. Oh, comfy. Yeah, what we do, um, we do some stargazing at night and put on a playlist with some Pink Floyd and some David Bowie and, and serve some hot popcorn, some cocktails, and you could just cuddle up on here, it's lovely. Could you point out a few of the constellations? I could do. I've uh, got Master Ocean, um, but to be honest, there's so many. I've got an app and it's brilliant. So I sit with a guest and <laughs> just show them to you. <laughs> you can, there's nothing better than an app. An app is a lot cleverer than I am. So, uh, but it's uh, it is it is nice to know a few. Yeah. What do we like about the boat? Um, yeah, what's, what's, what's your favourite new thing that you didn't expect to see or to have? I mean, the beach club is the lovely. Beach, the beach club. It is lovely. Everybody loves it. It's, it's really nice to even see it from here. Yeah. And the bar set up, actually. So even from here, you can see it's, it's now, very private. That platform lowers all the way down into the water, is that right? So it, if it does, somebody yeah, was unsteady, that they could sit on the platform and get in and out that way if, if uh, movement was a little restricted? Last week, we had a gentleman, just that, a little bit unsteady on his feet. And we just lowered this down, and there's a handrail. And we actually brought him up with this as well. Uh, but we use it for luggage as well. It's a fantastic thing. That sounds terrific. So yes. let me ask, Scott, you and Nikki are a couple, correct? That's right, yeah. And did, did you come into yachting uh, before you met or did you start doing running boats together? When well, you first we're started? From Guernsey. We're from Guernsey. Oh, Channel um, Islands. Yeah, yeah, so we're Channel Islanders. We met when we were 17. So we've always had a passion for boats and raced and done all sorts of, we've had a dozen different boats ourselves. And then we've worked for a couple of companies. We worked for Trade Winds. Then we've had several years with the Moorings. Um, and now we've decided to, to go private. And yeah, looking forward to the future. Well, that sounds terrific. So are you going to stay in the Caribbean for um, this uh, summer as well? Is Definitely. We're waiting for you guys yes. to open up. <laughs> I know. The BVI has been very, very uh, locked up tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can't wait to get back to the BVI. It's actually our favorite stomping ground. Well, I, I, I can't wait to see you face to face that way. But in the meantime, you're going to be available for charter in Antigua. And I think you've already had some charters in that area. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. We've got a charter next week and then we're... we're free to uh, to look for some more yeah we're Terrific. excited it's good here the the um restrictions are, are not so bad here um and there's beautiful bays we've got stingray city by buddha to see with the uh, with the donkeys yeah. there's plenty to do here to fill a week definitely well is there a particular anchorage you like uh overall or is it just 
too many to choose from. I think there's too many. I mean, Barbuda is Stunning. is just stunning. It's like a. I think it's even better than Anagada. As, oh, as wow. in a, like, yeah, the sand is very tidy, um, and the sand it's like icing sugar. And it's amazing that it's still there. It's so soft. Beautiful sand. It's amazing. It doesn't blow away. They were doing a homemade ginger beer the other day with Moscow mules. Um, oh. it's just really delicious. <laughs> the bars aren't actually open, but they are. That you just can't sit in the bar, so you can buy a drink at any time of the day. But Every bar's open. It's just you take away and sit on the right. beach. So it, it's it's just a bit different, and we're working with it. So. And and so as long as you travel with a mask, you're okay, you know, out and about. Yeah, yeah. and then there's a curfew at night, eight o'clock, and it really is just to cut down people loitering in bars late, um, which is fine. It doesn't really affect us on the boat because we look after our guests. The party on the boat doesn't stop it. Eh? <laughs> <The party. laughs> well, yes, I, I, I assume so. But with three crew now, would would you say your your style is, you know? A, Casual, or would you say it's like high service, or what? What? What do you like to do? I would say we're we're high end but relaxed. We're not, you know, we're we are formal but relaxed formal, if that makes sense. Um, okay. We're, we know when to step aside, and if people are reading the book, um, and we like a mix of music. You know, it's it's everything. Yeah. So, so you think that you guys are a good team for reading your clients where they, you know what they want before they even know what they want? Well, that's the idea, yeah. That's what we look for. Yeah. Feeding <laughs> expectations. That's right. what we try and do. And, and does that apply to food as well? Always, yeah. I love cooking with, the, with fresh food um, and seafood, lobster, mahi-mahi. We have a great supplier here, actually. Uh, the beef and the pork, too, is very good. And I love baking, very into making boat baked bread. And we also have an ice cream maker on board. So lots of sorbets and, and boat made ice cream too. So now one of the things that I find is that it um, it's sometimes hard to get what clients are most comfortable eating. Do you try to call your clients before the, the charter? So you can always. And even if we have like uh, the next week coming, we do have a picky eater and actually it's a child. I'll invite anyone who's a little bit dubious about trying salmon or mahi or, or the lobster. I'll have them come into the galley with me. I'll let them try the sauce. I'll let them see it. And there's always a piece of chicken available if they really don't want to try it. But I really encourage people to try it. And I'll have, I don't mind anyone coming into the galley with me if they want to see what I'm adding, you know, if they don't want onion, you know, I'll make sure that, Nothing sneaks in there that they don't want. Well, that that sounds pretty good. Now, are, does that apply to children? Do you ever show kids how to uh, make cookies or do any any yeah. projects? Actually, uh, the last uh, last season before COVID, I had a lot of mummies coming in learning how to make the bread, and then um, oh. I was having children into to make their cookies, teach them how to make sticky toffee pudding. They love the caramel sauce, so that's you know something I can teach them. They can pour it over pancakes, pour it over anything that they make at home. I teach them how to make the toffee sauce. I've been teaching Ellie how to make the toffee sauce. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm more than happy to share my recipes. Um, everything I've got is uh, available. I'm, I'm more than happy to send it to anybody they want to know. When they get home, it's like, oh, how did you make that? More than happy to send out emails with how tos. Well, Ellie, I, I know that um, you're not the professional babysitter, but do you like working with kids and, and have uh, activities? to help keep them yeah, occupied? Absolutely. I've, um, I've got a little uh, brother and sister of my own who are five and eight, and I I love playing with kids, working with kids. I've taught dance and ballet to kids, and for the chance of coming up, I've arranged a boat treasure hunt and arranged like lots of different activities and arts and crafts and stuff. We're uh, super excited We're about really that. excited about the kids coming. Oh, all right. So uh, all I can say is we better see the follow-up video of some of those activities. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Definitely.